out, out, so that you do not sew the front of the tie. Normally, you can also be using a thimble, a running stitch, run, 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 and then ease it out, ease it out, please. Then take out the pin, lay this down under here, and once more, the running stitch, run. Oh, my thread came unthreaded. No problem. I'm always ready. <laughs> and just go back into that same old stitching at that point there, and then continue all the way over in here. We are running the stitch. You may run the stitch, look at a couple of inches long if you like. Very good. Very good. All right, come on, thread. Don't give me any troubles. You might run into the same thing. Stop pulling the one thread all the way out, please. Thank you. Out. Out. No problem. Whack it. Never make a production out of things. We need it over here because too many people make a production out of things. So we're getting shorter here. So we'll come on over here. And we're getting to about the midway point here. Oh, God. Mess. Trippy. Get on with it. Thank you. Oh, I never made a tie sitting down. Look, he's standing up at the table. This is fun, though, sitting down. Oh. Well, pretty soon my dad and mother start bringing the customers in to the bedroom and says, look, you look at that. That's our son. He's making wine today. <laughs> that was the only time I ever got high, except in Cheyenne, Wyoming, which is over a mile high. Did you know there, if you have one drink, it's like having 10? Oh, God. I was in the Army then. Oh, wow. World War II. How many of you remember World War II? Would you raise your hands, please? <laughs> oh, I'm so all alone. <laughs> Wasn't so long ago. Okay, I've reached the halfway mark. Like so. And I'm going to end this here for the moment. Thank you. And then I will be re-threading. Oh, pardon me. Re-thread. Oh, that's the one that pulled out good. I don't need you anymore. Where were you when I needed you? I wouldn't have to thread my needle if you hadn't stuck. Oh, you need arms and elbows. And there. Hmm. Now, of course, at my age, you always get the eye. I mean, the needle with the biggest eye you can find. Are you there? <gasps> I didn't do what I told you people always to do. Cut it at an angle, please. Give yourself a point. Thank you. Put in the needle. I usually have my people do this for me. I don't do this kind of nonsense. I haven't got time for this kind of nonsense. Now, normally we wax this too. We take a piece of wax and wax the thread. Then it won't stick. Now. Watch this one, please. We're doing this with a single thread, and I'm going to start at the other end and work halfway up, so that you'll actually see how we finish at least one end of the tie here at this point. That's an awful lot of tie there. So look, please. We'll be turning this under right here. And normally you baste it, but I'll be pinning it. This is the other side of the tie, which I'll be turning and basting normally. You can also pin it like this for yourselves when you become professional because I am pin basting back a quarter of an inch all the way like this. Isn't that gorgeous? About every couple inches. They should be like little soldiers. Notice how every pin is put in exactly the same. One isn't deeper with just the tip of the pin right to there. Then we continue here and here right to there. Then there, and over to here. Oh, my, the good old days. The good old days. I know when I travel around through Europe, they have places that tie one on, let me tell you. In France, I remember one year, the president decreed that everybody should drink milk. <laughs> that was the funniest thing he ever said. Because the French do not drink milk. We drink milk. All right, now look. I pinned that along there to that point. And then we bring this right on over to this section here, making sure our tie is even here. And we'll be pinning then 
along this end. And notice that long thread that we had here. Notice some of your better ties that your husband wears, what you guys wear. And you notice there's always that in there, and it's always buried underneath there, so don't worry about it. And then we come here, and we pin here, and we pin along here very beautifully. Also, remember, when you press this tie, we don't press this way. We press it on the grain line, which would be in the direction opposite from which it was cut. <laughs> so look at your pattern. All right, when we finish this part here, you see your tie is starting to take shape beautifully. So when we do this, we do what we call a blind stitch, please. We start in here, right there, and go into the fold and come out into the fold. And then bring your thread right back from the fold where it came underneath here, go forward and go back into the fold. That is called a blind stitch. And catch only the tie, and I'll be right back. Please don't go away. If followed my instructions and those of the paper, you will come out with something as beautiful as this. Do it. 